My 85 in Anderson County is back open after that wreck that shut down big chunks of the roadway. Major accident that involved three vehicles, two tractor trailers, had the interstate shut down in Anderson County for hours. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford found out how the crews respond to these situations with major traffic and why it took so long to clean it up. Traffic is moving again on both the north and southbound lanes here on Interstate 85. But just 12 hours ago, that was a different story as hundreds of people sat in backup between exits 21 and 27. The initial call came in from one of the county fire chiefs who just happened to be uh, passing down the interstate. The site he saw was a broken median and a tractor trailer on fire blocking the lanes of Interstate 85. He immediately learned that it was hauling ammonium nitrate which he realized was a hazardous material. Highway Patrol says the truck driver blew a tire, hit another car before crossing into the northbound lane, striking two more cars and catching fire. Because of the dangerous chemical in the truck, numerous fire departments and the hazmat team were immediately dispatched. If the fire had actually been involving the material itself, it would have been a situation, as we did yesterday, where we initially advised them not to fight the fire, to evacuate the area to a safe distance because of the likelihood of explosion. At one point, the homes in a one-mile radius to the accident were evacuated for safety. But ultimately, the crews were able to get the fire under control, but the cleanup process lasted for nearly 12 hours. And while we keep our fingers crossed and hope that nothing happened, that we still take the proper precautions to make sure that we don't do anything to agitate anything. Deputy Director of Emergency Management Jeremy Pickens says when accidents happen on major interstates like this one, it can be a challenge. Just getting on scene, of course, with that specific scene, um, both sides of the interstate were shut down, so we had to kind of maneuver our way through traffic. But together, the crews worked to get lane by lane open and appreciate the patience from drivers. Now, we did call Ann Med Health to find out the conditions of those two people who were transported last night, but they were unable to provide us an update. In Anderson County, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Well, with the heat yesterday, crews were monitoring all the drivers that were stuck in that traffic and anyone who had some health conditions. They also wanted to thank local businesses that donated water for them to hand out.